Hi guys, Trev here. Um, I'm going to do a classical lesson on a song called Legend, which is from a book called The Guitarist Way, Book 3 by Peter Nuttall and John Whitworth. Um, Legend is a beautiful song. A couple of my students are um, a little bit sort of stuck by the changing of positions. So I just want to do a little video and that hopefully will help um, at home. So um, the first bit... So if we look at that in a little bit more detail before we move on. So we've got um, in the second bar a few um, classical kind of terms in um, in this bit here, which I look at this camera. Yeah. So we've got a, a Roman numeral three for the third position and um, a four in a ring, which is string four. And we've got um, a G note and then followed by another G note. So we really want this G to be ringing on while these chords are playing. So a G and a B are playing at the same time. So it's kind of easier to see it rather than on the notes, but you've got sort of this. So third fret, if I go back to, to that, so third position um, is where you move your whole hand up to the third fret. And if we think our fingers are kind of lined up for the, third, fourth, fifth, sixth fret, sort of like that. And that's third position. And what that means is that our third finger on the fourth string is a G. So you might be able to work that out by, um, by your ears actually. So you might be able to just, can you hear it sounds the same? So um, to get that, it's quite hard. And as you go through the grades and uh, into more um, difficult, um, classical pieces they, they give you less and less information so you kind of have to decipher it so um, one of my students was saying it would be really helpful if they just told you it was fret five but um, they don't want to do that because they want to teach you how to um, um, work it out I guess yourself so you have to kind of think okay G note is there and then we've got the ringing G and the, the playing playing G okay so we've got we've then got a slide down back to first position and then open and then a left hand slur which would be a kind of a pull off and then it goes back up to sliding Okay, let's carry on and see if there's anything else that's going to throw you. Oh, ral a de a dim, <laughs> ral a dim. So a ralentando. So slowing down and um, getting quieter at the same time. So that, um, and then a tempo back to normal with a crescendo normal tempo and um, getting louder and then back to the beginning so we'll see if we can enjoy it this time Okay, now we've got to coda, which is um, a kind of a, a special ending. So if we go to the coda at the bottom, and then we've got our F sharp in the bass. Rale a dim again, so. And then we want the. Um, yeah, I'll just do that ending again. So you've got a slowing down and um, a getting quieter and a slide up to the seventh fret, which um, makes your E, which is um, a very nice little ending. So you've got a...
and the very last note has a pause on it. So a ferment, fermenter, I think it's called. So you, you, you basically, um, yeah, um, extend that last note. Um, I think that's everything. It's a really challenging piece. I think it's probably around grade one, possibly even sort of hard grade one sort of standard. But it's a lovely book. Um, Guitarist Way Book 3 has quite a lot of pieces. So if you are, um, well, if you're past book two or you're indeed doing any grade work it's a good kind of accompaniment to um the work that you're doing um okay i'm just going to have a go at playing it all the way through so you can hear it um, i might make a few slips because i am human but um yeah hopefully you get the idea of the whole piece so this is legend okay Okay, I hope you enjoyed that and you find it useful and see you soon.